So far, the Inner Geekdom Tournament has been kind of hit and miss competition-wise. We've had a couple of real close matchups, and we've had a couple complete annihilations. That brings us to today's match. I believe it would be match five. I guess that would make sense. They do two a week, so it would be five or seven. So I'm guessing it's match number five. If I'm wrong, then I'm stupid. Um, we have Koi Jandrew versus... Uh, I got the name right here because I knew I would forget. Marinopic. That's it. Um, not... Much is known about her. Obviously, this is going to be her debut. Boy, Jandrew, we know um, quite a bit about. He's had three matches in the past. He had one really red-hot lightning fire uh, match in his debut, and he has kind of completely fell off a cliff in his last two encounters. So who's going to come out on top in this match? Well, let's find out now as the Inner Geekdom Tournament continues on JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Showdown. Out of time. Welcome back. So, Koi Jandrew, uh, Miranopic, uh, going to be interesting to see how this match turns out. Um, my personal opinion, I'm probably, I'm, uh, I'm going to go with Nopic, uh, simply because, as I kind of hinted at with uh, Koi Jandrew's uh, recent performances, just has not really, ha has been nowhere near what he was in that very first match. And it kind of goes back to what I have brought up uh, continuously when it comes to the Inner Geekdom Division. A lot of the players early on, uh, that came in that were very strong in comic book movies, like Koi Jandrew was, you know, I'm sure a lot of them had that philosophy. Hey, half the categories are comic book categories. I'm good at comic book movies. I'll jump right in and I'll do really good. So, and early on, that was a real easy uh, philosophy. All you had to do was, you know, get the categories and the questions that you knew and just do decent enough and everything else and you were going to be uh, a force to be reckoned with. Um, but since the, the category expansion has happened, those players that had that comic book movie or bust philosophy has kind of gone straight out the window. Um, one of the key um, examples for that would be the former Inner Kingdom champion, Hector Navarro. Um, was pretty lights out when the, uh, the Inner Kingdom division started, but since the category expansion happened, he has not won a single match. Koi Jandrew, unfortunately, is an even bigger example of that. Um, as I pointed out, much like Hector Navarro, not only has he not won a match since the category expansion happened, but he has looked very, very poor uh, doing it. I do not believe he has even scored double digits in any game since that first uh, matchup that he had in that five-way that featured uh, Kalinowski, uh, Emma Fife, and some... Uh, some other players, Charlie Feldman, I think, was in it also. There was somebody else that uh, has escaped me at the moment. But Koi did very well early on when half the categories were comic book based. Uh, that's not the case anymore, and his play has definitely dwindled since then. Um, I think both matches he failed to get more than 50% of his questions correct. That's not going to get it done uh, anymore in the Inner Geekdom Division. Especially with someone like Marinopic, who I've heard some very, very good things about uh, from people whose opinions I trust about um, what players' knowledge are in stuff like this. In Inner Geekdom, obviously, it's a little bit easier to uh, find out where they stand, especially when they you know, have some connections with each other. Um, so there's a lot of people from whose opinions I trust that says that Marinopic is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Uh, and if that's the case, um, Koi could, should probably be, you know, kind of easy stepping stone. The the big question that's going to come out is when it comes to Koi, what uh, will he consider a success? If he doesn't win, what what number, what point total will he be shooting for to make him think that I did a good enough job uh, and I can come out, you know, satisfied with? That's going to be interesting to see where this comes from. Anyway, I have rambled for over three minutes. I'm sure none of you wanted to hear that. So, um, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this now in three, two, and one. Oh, 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 oh. I apologize for my excess rambling. 
Yeah, I'm sure you could understand it. Inner Geekdom veteran. He came here and Inner Geekdom just kind of made his his presence known in the Smoda. Crazy with that. Koi. John Drew, Crazy Koi, you have been eliminated from the Fatal Five. If you have me on your roster, I'm sorry. I will do better. I am better. I'll come back better. And I'm still here. Unfortunately, that free for all performance wasn't anything to write home about either. Here's to a good match. <laughs> Cheers. It's interesting. Got the Pepsi stuff. Pepsi's been running that stuff with, with Michael Jackson, Britney Spears, and Ray Charles. This one's blank. I got jipped. I got hosed, Tommy. I got hosed. Yeah, I go with that. Hello, Ken. Hello, Christian. Is that a is that a Wookie with glasses with a straw? I'm joined by Ken Napsok. Oh, there I am. Hey, yeah, buddy. happy you to think I was going to introduce you. I didn't think you were. The whole on. match I was going to say You're a good word. friend of mine. No, is that right? Yes. Is that right? After all you've done to me. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm excited. We've got, we've got a This is interesting like said, because um, you make your name. I don't you think this in, was even brought up swing, in any of the, at least nothing that I became familiar with. Really but it was announced that Jason Emmon will defend the Inner Geekdom Championship at the Schmodown Live event, which is awesome because I'm going to be there. And hopefully it's Rachel. Because then I'd get to see Dan and Rachel play in the same night. That'd be awesome. not in this term before or even in consideration. Now find themselves in a position with four wins, they could be playing Jason Justice Inman for that championship. And that is the case with our rookie here today, the amazing Mara Kanopic, who makes her oh, debut Knopic. against Crazy Koi Jean. Say her name wrong. I knew I was going to say that. The, the notorious Mara Kanopic. Yeah. Um, so that that, that that's a name that actually Jean has the K. And killer and Killer still holds a grudge to uh, Jean Drew to this day. Yeah, absolutely. This is going to be interesting. I, I know Mara. I know Mara well. One of the very I, few I, names I, that actually the K is not silent. I uh, partied in the streets of New Orleans with him. Yeah. I don't think anyone should just uh, look at. Of course, knowing me, I would have been right, and they were just pronouncing it wrong. And really loved this stuff. No, no, no. The inner geeks here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see her compete. The inner geekdom is not a, 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 a division that you just walk into and go, oh, yeah, I can do that. Because you will get eaten up alive by the, the amount of knowledge here. And I've spoken with Mara many times. And to her credit, and definitely my um, old brain cell, she's been asking me for a long time, like, I want to play. I want to play. And I said, yeah, we'll get you a match. And I <laughs> said to her recently, well, you should play. She's like, I've been asking you for a year. You tell me when. I want to play. <laughs> So now she is yeah. in the tournament. She's basically she's saying it's your fault, Koi Christian. Who's yeah. tasted victory before. He's been in two free for alls. He is a vet now in this league. So that alone could be intimidating. We'll see how the amazing one does in her debut. Absolutely. And Koi, you know, he's got some ups. The amazing one. He rides a cool motorcycle sometimes. If that's the case, like then. James Dean. Uh, Can't wait. You know, so I mean, so he. he It'd be so like my gift. For him. All right. Well, let's hear from Can't both wait. Crazy Koi John Drew and the amazing one. I won't throw this. Because I don't feel like going back there to get it. So I'm back. I love the inner geek team. It is my place. You're back. Is I like and to you're drive. This crazy. Is the stuff I know. This is the stuff I love. These are my people. This is what I want to be good at. And I love being here. I'm Mara. I love movies. I have been begging Christian for a long time to let me finally come over and compete in the inner geek team tournament. So the beauty of Mr. Puddin himself being the reason this exists is because the man claims to know his stuff, and man, he does know his stuff, but I know I know more. I just don't know it under pressure, so I've been training under the lights. I've been trying to hone the skills. I've been trying to know what it's like under that SAT, like, God, ah, duress, because I'm going to take down Mike. That's the goal, and then Edmund's next. You know, I grew up in the 90s when being a geek and loving Star Wars and Star Trek got me mercilessly bullied. And this is a place where I can finally shine oh, and take nice. that strife and turn it into something glorious. Shame on you like kids. a title that doesn't actually mean anything in the real world. So I know Mara in real life. Obviously, I've never fought her. She's fantastic. She's brilliant. She's like a nuclear physicist. She's got like 18 PhDs. I don't know, but she's wicked smart. So I'm excited for the challenge. I don't know how she fights. I've never seen it, but I know the woman herself is brilliant. So I can't wait to see how that plays off. Koi has this just frenetic energy, and sometimes that can be a strength for him, and sometimes I think he gets caught up in his own head. Spun in a web, if you will. And I think that it could go either way. It could be anybody's game today. 
I want nothing more than to show the internet that, hey, I've had some rough runs, I've had some rough rounds, I have completely faltered under pressure, but I want to show the internet I know this stuff because I love it, and I love you guys. The Schmodown fans are some of my favorite people in the world, so this is more for you than it is for me. It's my pride, but it's your victory, and that's what I want to do it for. It's for you guys. Koi, I think that you're wonderful, but I don't know if you are suited to continue in the Intergeekdom tournament at this time because I'm going to be amazing. So I think Mara, having never been in this situation, is going to realize that it's not just knowing stuff, it's the experience. I know this stuff, and the experience always tears me apart. I think she's a brilliant girl that's going to see all the facts, but in the moment she needs them, won't be able to find which one. That's my theory, and I hope that's how it works out, because that's how I'm going to win. Spoken like a true crazy I man. The, the statements there, too. It's, you know, you had Koi saying that he, he and to nobody's surprise, he's still he's taking some shots at, at Mike Kalinowski. Yeah. You know, he's saying the fact that oh, you know what, he still has that victory. Those two need to do battle eventually, and I think that it's secretly, I wouldn't be surprised if Mike Kalinowski is rooting for Jean Drew to, to win so he can get his hands on him. But but then again, you know, then you have Mara who says, I am confident. I want to play. I know these categories. Let's get to it. And she gave Koi respect, but she said, get out of my way, basically. I'm coming in here to play. And I got to respect that. Absolutely. I respect it. All right, Ken, give me the tail of the tape. Tail of the tape, starting with Crazy Koi. Here, his strengths include, of course, Marvel. Who's fast the talking. Marvel movie news. That won't do fast much good talking. here. He's one of the fastest talkers of the business. Fantastic for some reason, mustache. A mustache. Yeah. Also, his strength, it actually works. With there, Amanda now I got Mara, one, We've too. got her strengths here. I asked her before the match. I go, uh, no. give me your strengths so I can uh, tell the That's one thing I know I'd never be able to pull off. Could never pull off a mustache. <laughs> Can't do it. And Rainbow Bright Lore. Oh, I like that. Rainbow <laughs> Bright. I, 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 I had a feeling that's what that shirt was. I knew it looked familiar, but I saw the made in, and I'm like, no, it's not Rainbow Bright. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Three rounds to the finish. Introducing first, making her Schmodown debut. Give it up for the. I hate Snake Shock. I hate him. Oh, I was hoping for the hat. Should have came out with the hat. Indy doesn't wear sunglasses. There's a sick loss and found back there. I got pockets full. Perfect. All right, right away she has... The first competitor to steal things. You're hard too there. You're stealing things. There we go. Okay. Thief! Thief! You're thief! All right, here we go. And her opponent. With a record of one win, two defeats in the Inner Geekdom Division. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Radioactive Spider-Man. Spider Blood, Spider Blood, Radioactive Spider Blood, Spider Blood, Spider Blood, Radioactive Spider Blood, Great, now I'm going to have that thing stuck in my head. Spider Man, Spider Man, Beam! Boy, you ready? Ready. Mara, you ready? Always ready. Then let's get ready to shoot out! Yay! All right. Question one in round number one is in the realm of Star Trek. It's always been Which Star Trek. Round one Trek is in Star Trek. That's your next shirt. Final appearance of Leonard Nimoy as Spock. Well, off to the races right now. Five. Three. Star Trek Into Darkness. One. Pens down, please, and Koi. That's Star Trek 7, month of subtitle. That is incorrect, Mara. Star Trek Into Darkness. That's, That's correct, correct for, for the one boy. point. Mara starting out strong here, taking a one point over the crazy one. All right. Your second question comes in the category of Lord and of the Rings. L-O-T-R. Dominic Moynihan plays what character in the Lord of the Rings film? Can I plug the show one-on-one? Oh, yeah, let's not do that. That's good. Oh, one-on-one with Christian Harlow. Yeah. I heard that. Interview Dominic Moynihan. Five, four, three, 
Bilbo. One pence down and Mara. Mary a Doc Brandy Buck. That is correct. That's Mary correct. would have been good too. And too two many letters. Wrong answer of Pippin. Oh, and uh, two. <laughs> the other common Mara answer. It's two, not Pippin, zero. it's Bilbo. As we get to our next question. All right. That was too right. many letters. Category of the MCU. Mm -hmm. Which planet is home to the Nova Corps in Guardians of the Galaxy? No, 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 but I did take a ride in a Chevy Nova. Five, four, oh three, God. two, one. Pens down, please, Coy. I finally know an answer, and it's Xandar. That is correct. That's Xandar. Also, yeah, yeah, perfect so far. <laughs> All right, fourth question comes in the category of Harry Potter. She stole from Xandar. What kind of creature was Voldemort feeding off in the Forbidden Forest in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? I'm not supposed to say his name, though, right? I'm some, am I cursed? Do I yeah. die now? What happened? You're not. What's your name? Five, four, three, two, one. Snake. A unicorn. Correct. Oh. McCoy. Not a centaur. Oh, no. Mara going up 4 1 here. Mara has been amazing so far. 4 and 1. Oh. As we get to the. Pardon the pun. Question. She's I'm been amazing. That's right. why she's amazing. Right. DC, DC <laughs> movies is your next category. And I want to see more centaurs in life. <laughs> DC movies. More DC centaur movies. feeding, please. How many Superman movies featured Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor? Was it in Superman 3? I can't remember. Four. I'm going to say three. three. I'm going to take a guess that he was not in it. One. Pens down. Coy. Three? That's correct. That is correct. Three. Three. Wow. Yeah, he was not perfect. in three. Five, two. Five, two. Mara having a hell of a first round here. For some reason, he chose to come back for Superman 4. What a shame. The Hobbit, shame. The Hobbit film. In which of the Hobbit films do we get a cameo from Elijah Wood as Frodo? Out of the five armies. And one. Pens down, please. Mara. An unexpected journey? That's Correct. Right. Coy. The third one. No, we, we can't, well, it was the first one, first and we still wouldn't accept that. We needed a title of the movie. But Mara gets that one. 6 2. Coy is struggling here. We're down four in the first round. Okay, next one. One in three chance to get it right. In the realm of the DCEU. The DCEU. In Batman versus Superman, what is used to kill Doomsday? Kryptonite and spear. Hands down, please, Coy. One Roman spear. That's that's incorrect. Can't take that. And Mara. Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Kryptonite with kryptonite tip spear is correct. Kryptonite is the answer we're looking for. Kryptonite is the answer. So Mara gets a there. seven. Two. I got both of them. Seven, so kryptonite. double. I get double points. All right. Eighth question comes in the category of Star Wars. What is the name of Anakin Skywalker's mother? It's some freaky Two, name. One pens Power. And Mara. Shmi. That is correct. Shmi. Yeah. Shimmy. That's the take Mara. three match. Mara. Shimmy Skywalker. You talk about earning your nickname. This has been amazing so far. Eight Damn it. Should have remembered Shimmy Skywalker. Here. Down six points as we get to our next question. Category of Marvel films. Who played Colonel William Stryker in X2? Oh, I almost forget the guy's name. Yeah. He's been in a lot of stuff. I don't know. And five, four, three. I two, should know this considering I like one, the movie so much. And Coy. Ryan Tiberius Cox. That's, That's correct. correct. Yeah. Oh, I'm Danny Houston. Missed the first All one. Right. Okay, so Mara, Mara, Mara is human. She missed one. She just missed one. It just feels good. I'll leave him. All right. So, and yeah, Coy's able to yeah. get a little bit of ground there, but it's still down by five. But that was a um, still five point lead. Five, okay. uh, final question in round one. Final question comes in the category of mixed bag. Mixed bag. In Scott Pilgrim versus the World, what color is Ramona's hair when Scott first meets her? Questions from you, Frank? Uh, what color is Gray was my beard when I met you. Black. Five. 
four. Is it pink? Or sad? Two. One. Pens down, please. Mara. Now. Blue? That's incorrect. Mm. Correct. Boy. Green. Also incorrect. Looking for pink. Pink. Pink hey. answer. But, so many. but still, what Thank an amazing you, death battle. Four. Only reason I knew that. Who got eight points there out of the Showdown meets points. death battle. And Who would have thought that? Round number two, a five point lead here for Mara. And round number two works like this the competitors will spin the wheel. If Based on everything that I've heard and everything that I thought like might happen, again, that first round went about as five questions about what I thought would happen. They are Maybe Koi might have gotten two one or two piece, more, but that was about choice. what I thought. And still from your opponent. Both Mara and Koi both have all three of their JTE rules left, and they both have their challenge rules. Now, Mara, you have a five-point lead here. Would you like to go first or second? I'm really hoping that Koi can at least second, make right, some ground up because uh, I like uh, sometimes you get to put, yep. put the pressure I want, on. Sometimes you put the pressure I'd like this to be um, a good spin. somewhat competitive. Good net suit. I'll does, give him that there. Good spin. That's a good spin. That's, That's a good spin. spin. From Mustache. Yeah. yeah, he looks like a game show. Right? Yeah, he does. Oh, and where are you going to land on? Um, I don't think that's going to be kept. Spin again. Spin again. Yeah, we well, figured that. Of that middle earth yeah, category I mean, it's middle earth figured it's as much. Really you need to be strong yeah. in this league, I think, in order to you're, you're be not wrong. Wrong. And it's coming back on now. Uh oh, uh oh, that could that be dangerous. Oh, oh, DC, DC movies. Movie. That's okay for Koi. Wow. That's okay for Koi. Koi it's a comic book movie. DC. It almost hit opponent's choice and put himself Yeah, that would have been bad. Right. Right. Middle Earth again. Yeah, five, right? Good. Yeah, yeah. Five All questions right. here for Koi. Five questions coming down the pipeline for you, Koi, in the category of DC, DC. First one. DC, DC, DC. T and T. Jordan is from in Green Lantern. Capital City. That's incorrect. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. For the steal. Mara. Capitals Berg. No. For, for my nerd pride, can I say Coast City now? Well, I mean, you can say it now. Coast City. <laughs> you, Coast City. You kind of already yeah. did, I which would have been. Yeah. Internet, I know the answer. All I'm right. sorry. All right. Mm. Question two. Question two out of five. Two out of five. Who played troubled LAPD detective Angela Dodson, who was investigating the suicide of her twin sister in Constantine? These are those uh, other DC A, Liv Tyler, questions. B, Rachel Wise, C, Gwyneth Paltrow, D, Maria Bello. Rachel Wise. That's correct One for a point. point. All right, so Koi now at 8 4 here. 8 4 trying to get a little bit of ground here. All Don't right. Pick it up. Third question in Batman and Robin, Poison Ivy crashes the Save the Rainforest charity ball by dressing as what? What did she dress as? Fox. Mention choice. A, a jaguar. B, a flamingo. C, an alligator. D, a gorilla. A flamingo. That's incorrect. A gorilla. gorilla. That's One correct point. for a steal. Mara, big steal there. Steal there. Yeah. Fourth question, Didn't fourth question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth, fourth question in 2009's Watchmen. What is the name of Night Owl 2's ship? Five, four. Multiple choice. I knew it. <laughs> A, Archimedes. B, Merlin. C, Euclid. D, Plutarch. Plutarch. It's a A? That's correct for a point. One point. All right, so Toy able to he, get himself one he, he knew that as soon as he heard it. Right, or at least something, something went off what in his head. What is the name of the hulking supervillain that doesn't speak and was imprisoned along with Zod and in Superman and released in Superman 2? Multiple choice. A, Non. B, Ren. C, Vex. D, Sig. Sig. That's incorrect. A. That, that is correct. correct. For Look at steal. Mara. Confidently, confidently now, stealing. This is big because Mara, if she lands on something that she's good at here, she could knock out Koi here in the second round. But if she lands on something she's not, Koi can get something back with some steal. So Mara, please hit the wheel here too and give it a big spin. You want me to hit it? Yeah, please go give it a give it a kick. All right, big spin. Oh, putting that voodoo. I gotta tell you. Yeah. 
She's a hex girl, and she don't put spell weed. Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. What's she gonna do? Um, you know. Take Star Trek. It's a tough category. A lot of There's not many people that like Star Trek. She's a scientist, so maybe she, maybe she, we could go to her. She's gonna keep her bed. Wow. I did not expect so that. Right. Somebody right. likes Star Denver Trek. Yay, Jim go, Kirk. <laughs> Here we go. But yeah. you know, I think that guy person might might go there. I heard about this this Andrew Andrew guy. Oh, <laughs> give it, take some shots at yeah. guy. Mm. Take some oh, shots some, at guy. All right. All right. You know, I get I get so pumped up from throwing all that shade. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. Here's the next. Here's the first question. Here, five questions, Mara, in the realm of Star Trek. Who directed 2016 Star Trek Beyond? Justin Lin. Two points. Two points. That, that one was right. just on Question the other one. Two. Leonard Rosenman composed the score for which Star Trek film? Star Trek Three: The Search. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. No. Wait. Hold on. I. My brain. Mm -hmm. My brain. Five. Four. Three. Two. Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. Incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> Is uh, it The Wrath of Khan, Star Trek 2? That's also uh, true. It's not Star Trek. It for Star Trek 4. Yes, <laughs> for the voyage home. That is correct. All right. Question number three. In what Star Trek movie do we see a cameo by Christian Slater as a communications officer? Ooh. Five. You have to be in the 90s. It makes me think it's a Wait, next I'm generation one. All right. Generations? Uh, for repeat. In what Star Trek movie do we see a cameo by Christian Slater? Star Trek Generations? As it's got to be in the 90s. Five, four, three, two. Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan. Incorrect. Too early. Boy. I'm going to go with the answer to the Voyage Home. It's also incorrect. Okay. Ain't your gang, Dave. Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. Oh. All right. So now well, that's in the 90s, so it's still... Four. I was still right way in, in a way. What's the name of the ship that Khan takes over in Star Trek II? Reliant. The Wrath of that's, the exact, that's another question that was the same. Uh, Reliant. Constitution. A. Constitution. Scalver, B. B Dakota, Reliant. Yeah. C. Dakota. D. Excalibur. Get some more than Star Trek questions, Chris. C. Incorrect. It was Reliant. That's, That's correct, correct for one point. point. Oh, Boy okay. picks up oh, some. Okay. All right, so you're. That's what I thought C was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was dumb. Your final. That's what I, yeah. That's your okay. final question here. It's okay. Got more than question. questions, Chris. <laughs> In Star Trek Beyond, which member of the Enterprise crew is the first to meet Mr. Scott. the Scavenger Jayla? Scotty. For two points. That's correct. Two points. I was formal, though. I get more credit. To six. It's an eight-point lead. Corey's able to get himself out of knockout territory, but he is in desperate need to hope that Mara does not yeah. have a great round three here because he is in TKO territory here now. Ken, round number three works like this. The competitors. That's a great round three. She might not have to three answer numbers. any questions. Three numbers from one to she won't, might not have to worry about having a great points. round the three. One is worth three and the third and final one will be worth five big points. So, Mara, you are in the lead. Please pick three numbers from one to 16. One, eight, and 16. One, eight, and 16 for Mara Koi. Three, 15, five. Three, 15, and five for Koi. Starting with Koi Jantu, who is now going with number three. Number three. Koi, you chose the category of who said it. Hmm. Who said it? Two points. A person. In a Klingon. Of clones. Which character said, this party's over? Wouldn't it have been in the Klingons? Five. Obi-Wan. Four. Three. Is there multiple choice in this? Two. Obi-Wan. No. Incorrect. Incorrect. Mace Windu. Mace Windu. Mm. All right, so now you have to hit... Have to hit your three, or you will lose via TKO, and the amazing one will escape here with a TKO victory. Escape with a win. I don't think so. Star Wars. All right. Here we go. Keep it sound finished. Yeah. In Return of the Jedi, who tries to hotwire the door to the Endor bunker, only to end up closing R2D2. another glass door? 
Wait, no, no, no. It was, uh... That's Han. I feel like I'm wrong, but Han Solo. You're right. Three points. That's right. All right. I just All right. saw Hotwire the door now, in order to jump to the who game. actually Hotwired it. The game, you have that to was hit Han. The fox. Han tried to do, do it first and five. failed. Mara will win via TKO. Here it is. Foy, you chose number five. Number five. The Hobbit. Yay. The Hobbit. Game over. <laughs> it's been fun. Here you go. Been fun. Game yep. Two of the three trolls that try to cook and eat Bilbo and the dwarves in The Hobbit. Earning Bert. No, wait, no. Trolls, it's Stantler and Waldorf. Go! Three, two, one. Roseanne. And you're a winner! <laughs> by way of technical knockout! Was not expecting that answer. Glory, fortune, fortune. Heart sucker round category, Star Trek. That stuff gets deep, but she still came out ahead, and uh, I, I really impressed with what I saw here today. Look, if I'm Mike Kalinowski or Adam Lavick or Rachel Cushing, Emma, and any of these people, I'm, I'm looking over my shoulder and I'm saying, "Whoa, who's that?" Mm -hmm. I mean, that was an amazing. Well, I think they know who it is. Round Pretty sure they've met her before. Because, uh, it was a battle. It yeah. was an absolute battle to where she she just kept hitting and that was that first round she only missed two questions yeah. then she goes with star trek she does fairly well in star fairly trek well. you know she didn't go to multiple choice a couple times which yeah. probably was a smart move because Croy couldn't steal them. couldn't steal yeah. couldn't steal and, and sometimes you'll learn the inner workings of the game on the fly as he plays so again just the first match but she's watched a lot uh, but i i think she 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 brought in a a, a very specific skill set what she knows and a lot of personality you know, a lot of person. Love seeing that there. Well, it was a lot of fun to watch that match and watch, like you said, I think a new star in the inner geekdom division has been born, and she is the amazing Mara Kanopic. We're going to find out what's next for her. And Jen Sturger has both the amazing Mara Kanopic and Crazy Koi Jandru. Here we go. What's up, movie trivia Schmodown fans? Jen Sturger here with the amazing one, Mara Kanopic. <laughs> I think I butchered that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm um, good enough for government work. Oh, good. That was a phenomenal first match. I mean, I think we haven't seen a performance like that from someone's first match since Rachel Cushing. How are you feeling right now? I mean, just being put in the leagues with her is really complimentary, but you know, it can go either way. Coy, it can be vicious, and I was just lucky I came out on top. The lights usually get to people their first time out there, but you seemed really comfortable. Tell me how you were feeling after that first round. Well, you know, uh, it's always great your very first time, your very first question to know you know the answer. Not always. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you can just kind of keep that momentum going. Plus, I legitimately have nothing else to do today, so this is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> so now, that was your first match ever. Yeah. What's next for you? Like, our, I mean, you know we're in the middle of this tournament right now, and you're going to be facing some of the toughest competition we have in the Inner Geekdom. Some new faces, but there's some legitimate killers out there right now. Are you feeling a little bit nervous to having being thrust into it in the middle of this? I would be lying if I said it hadn't crossed my mind, but to answer your first question, the very next thing I'm going to do is get a life-threatening milkshake. Life-threatening milkshake. Yep. We'll talk mm. later. Oh, okay. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's been a lot of chaos mm. going around here right now. Um, Awkward. You know, a lot of changes in power, apparently. Uh, but what is, you know, not chaotic is that we've, I feel like we've found a new female superstar here. Well, I, I don't know if I want to call myself a superstar, but I would be willing to accept the moniker of the brown dwarf star. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you came out though with the, with the nickname Amazing. That's a really hard nickname to, you know, own up to. And I feel like you, you matched it. Well, the good news is the Amazing Spider-Man gave me a really low bar to clear. That's true. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Just happy to be a part of the team. I didn't think of it that way. God, I love you so much already. This is going to be a really fun time for all of us, I think. Well, I like it. Can we be friends? Do you want to go hang out? Absolutely. Awesome. Sweet. I don't even want to do my next interview. Dad, I made one friend today. <laughs> Ooh, oh, boy, Koi. <sighs> yep. Yep. 
Your suit it. looks good, at least. I, you know, I look yeah. losing. And at least the suit, least the suit looks nice. Visually. Look, don't sell yourself short. You have competed against some of the biggest names in the Inner Geekdom League. Uh, but how did Mara match up to those? She was calm, calculated. How did it feel losing to her instead of losing to everybody else? I, you know, I like <laughs> losing to her. Uh, she was calm, she was calculated. I'm going to lose and keep losing. And then no. I want to lose to greats. Uh, and I thought she did great. I, I really respected how like controlled she was going through it, how she didn't really falter when a new category popped up. She just like handled it. Like when Star Trek came up, she was like, this is mine, I'm going to take care of it. Like I, I really respect her as a fighter. That was really impressive. Now, I mean, this is your second loss, like, in an actual match, but, God, I can't even count how many otherwise. Four uh, to one. I can count. I'm <laughs> what makes you keep coming back? I love the game. I, I love the game. I love the people. I like the challenge, and I'm really, I'm proud of what I lost on today. Like, I lost on a Hobbit question. I would never have gotten there. I would not have, Do you like ever think about studying the things you aren't good at? Okay, so the problem for me is I, I watch The Hobbit, and it's just nine hours of loss. Nothing sits in. Like, you watch The Hobbit movies, and it goes in one eyeball and out the other. There's nothing going to stay because those movies are, are dumpster fire. So for me, it's just like the experience of watching that won't retain knowledge. Mm -hmm. So when a category like that comes up, so like, like, there's like only the so point. much you can fake enjoyment, and then you're just hurting yourself. Yeah. So the things I got right, I'm proud of. Coast City's gonna haunt me. I, I obviously. I can tell I that one hurt you. Like it, I felt it viscerally as soon as Capital came out of my mouth. So I'm just happy I knew the stuff I actually know. I, I'm happy about like having my fandoms represented well. I think a lot of it was me losing on things that I would not have known anyway. So this loss to me hurt a lot less because my competitor was great. The things I lost aren't things that I'm really as passionate about and i love doing it for you guys I, I i have fun being here so i hope that translates yeah you're not exactly playing slouches you know that right yeah. you're losing to some of the biggest names in the league so that's a said, JV team i just need a little you know who, yeah who would you like to face my uh someone off the street <laughs> <laughs> we're done thanks guys me and i'm here so excited. you can see mm -hmm. she's ready to get going she said Bring it on. Who's it next? She doesn't know because it could be. You, you never know with Kalinowski. He switches things up now. Mm -hmm. He's apparently running the show when it comes to the inner geekdom. It, it could be Emma. It could be Adam Lavick. It could, I mean, who, who knows? It could be Rachel Cushing. We don't know yet. Yeah. We're going to find out. Well, but it's not Rachel. You've already announced who, who Rachel's playing at the mega event. He'll get, in the ring, he'll get yep. Clipped yeah. in the joint, he gets yeah. right back up and wants to fight again. In, in 80s wrestling terms, he's Barry Horowitz. Nice, yes. nice suit. Uh, <laughs> is, yeah, but yeah. but uh, I, I, I like his personality. I like him as a person. And I, yeah. I know some. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a grumpy guy. I know that. But again, Koi makes me happy. Well, of course. How could you not? He's one of the nicest people I've ever met. So he'll be in this league for a long time, even if he's one in 40. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the match. Um, what do you guys think? I think we just found a new star inside of the Inner Geekdom. Leave your comments. Let us know. And make sure, once again, I have to thank all of the patrons out there. You're the reason this league is able to happen at all. Without you guys, not happening. So make sure you go on, go on over to patreon.com slash schmodown. Become a patron today. Check out all the stuff we've got going on. And in the Collider Collision, as of today, the way it stands, the main event for the team championship in an Ironman match. The Patriots trying to get their belts back as they go up against the current champions above the line. And then you have Andrew Guy decides he thinks he can go up against what With some the Photoshop the sunglasses from Dan Merle. Dan Merle because those weren't sunglasses. At the collider collision. Then Good effect, though. The Star Wars Championship. Alex, the Demon Damon, the challenger going up Yeah, the about that. Sam, we found out Whitworth, that's, uh, that's Kushner not happening. Is yeah, see? Against Eric you, are, you already knew it was happening. You have the triple threat match between Mark and Draco, the Machine, Janine, and Sassy, Stacy Howard. That's coming up at the Collider Collision. And in round two of the tournament, it's coming. Take a breath. You did a great that job. Good. That was good. I'm good. Looking forward to Collider Collision, even though... I'm not going to be a part of it competing. That's well, a whole another thing. You'll but, uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll buy a ticket. Don't All worry. Right, don't worry. I'll support it. I'll, I'll buy a ticket. It was fun calling this match with you today. All right. I so, guys, thanks again. Leave a comment. Talk to us in. Join the movie trivia Schmodown Facebook group as well as listening to the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on the Collider Factory podcast feed as well as the YouTube SK+. All right, guys. Thank you very much. That shower wolf pillow. Oh, why you throw that pillow? Damn you, Mike Kalinowski. Hi. Great match. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Sort of anything to say? 
Hello. That's nice, but I was thinking a little more along the lines of, you know, thank you. For being a jerk to pillows. Oh, we're gonna go that way, huh? Uh, no, because uh, no one knew who you were, and now they do, because of me. This com competition was only 10 competitors. Now we're 16, so you're uh, one of those lonely six that are now part of it. So I would think when someone does something nice for you, you're gonna make a name for yourself. It's kind of a thank you. I, I, that's how I was brought up. I just don't know, you know, maybe not everyone's like that, but you know, that's me. Thank you. Doesn't really seem sincere. So uh, let me stop you right there. You're one of those people that don't get get stuff and you don't thank them for it, huh? Okay. So okay, you, you, you said mm -hmm. from me in complete obscurity. Yes. I am going to pick Mara Kanavik to become one of these six that may have an opportunity to do something. Yeah. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> we don't know each other. Oh. Why do I need to thank you for orchestrating the opportunity for my complete success? I'm not talking orchestrating. I'm just giving you an opportunity to become a superstar. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going to, you know, you're one of those people. I'm one of these people. You know what? Let's you had a great win. You keep on winning. I'm going to keep on winning. We'll see where that takes us. Just one, one course correction there. Okay, yes. <clears throat> brown dwarf stuff. Glad I guessed the brown. I don't know what that means. Cool. <laughs> What's up, Showdown fans? Frank here, and it is time for your Schmo Down Breakdown. <laughs> and the winner! <laughs> Here's what you need to know about Cold going into this match. This was his first one-on-one -on -one match, and he was averaging 42% correct, and his round one accuracy was at 47%. After his, his run in first round one today, singles match three questions, his round one average didn't much help. As for Mark Anopic's debut, her round one score of eight points is the best score for a rookie this season, and Mara is the 12th rookie to debut in 2018. Into the second round we go. After Coley's run in the DC category, answering two of five questions, he is now 67% lifetime in that category. Mark Anopic went two of five in Star Trek, but did swipe two points in Steel to give her a 14 to six lead heading into the final round. Coy basically got two Star Wars questions, and he is now 36% lifetime in the category. Morrow wins this one by TKO, and it is the sixth match in the Inner Geekdom to be decided by a TKO or KO this season. Koi Jandrew on the day went 7 of 21, or 33% correct. His career average is now 40%. Mara Kanopic yeah. is 12 of 18 in her debut, or 67% correct. That is the fifth best accuracy for a debuting player this season. If you want to find out other stats about this match from around the league, check out SD Rundown Stats on Twitter. And don't forget to check out the Schmodown Rundowns every Saturday on YouTube and the Collider Factory podcast feed. This has been your Schmodown Breakdown. Thank you, Frankie Stats Janish. Um, and Mr. Frankie Stats Janish pretty much uh, pointed out what I kind of brought up when it came to Koi. Um, yeah, he just, I'm, I'm glad that he's happy to be there, but it just has not nearly lived up to what he looked like in that first match. It's just gone more and more downhill, and I think his post-match interview kind of heightened the issue. It's like, there are some movies that I just don't care about. Well... In a division like this, you still have got to figure out and find a way to watch those movies and cr try to grasp some information from them. You cannot just ignore uh, some categories that are out there because you're going to get completely whipped. Because Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, that's two questions that show up in round one. So that's two of the ten right there. Mixed bag can easily be another one uh, from Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. So that's three right there. If you spin Middle Earth in round two, you're screwed. If you get Middle Earth in round three, you're screwed. And it's just, you got nowhere to go. There, there's no there's no net uh, to, to bail you out. And he, he even got a comic book category in round two, and it just it 
just did not pan out. Um, he seemed satisfied um, with how he played. The point total-wise probably would suggest otherwise. And uh, Mara, she uh, played very well. Um, she struggled a tad in in the Star Trek stuff. Um, you know, especially with a category like that, you probably need to show where you stand on that, considering the champion is a Star Trek buff. Um, I'm just, I don't think he would he's going to be that intimidated by uh, that performance. Uh, in Star Trek, but be that as it may, it was a very respectable win by uh, Mara and uh, Mike Kalinowski. The perfect comeback for Mike, for Mara, should have just said, I know Dan Merle, and he'll be gone. Go away. Uh, just as soon as you hear Dan Merle, or I'll sick Dan Merle on you, he'll 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 run away. I, I'm pretty sure of that. So, uh, yeah, ultimately, um, the match was an improvement over the last couple that we've had in the Interdeep Division. But uh, unfortunately, it was another TKO finish. Um, it's kind of becoming pretty apparent that the uh, it's very top-heavy in the Intergeek division right now. It's about four or five players, and it's just everybody else right now. So hopefully these next couple matches will kind of really be m way more competitive to really kind of put uh, this tournament, you know, so kind of save this first round because it's kind of really been all over the place in terms of the competition. But with that being said, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts for the Movie Trivia Showdown. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. You don't have to, but it would be nice, and it would make me feel all nice inside. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at WWEJTH1, and you can join the official Movie Trivia Showdown Facebook page, and you can join and follow the official Movie Trivia Showdown Twitter page at The Showdown. So... Until next time, I will see you on Friday for the next Inner Geekdom match. I believe it is going to be, uh, there was a slight change in the cards. Um, Robert Meyer Burnett is not going to be able to make uh, his match with Mark Donaga. He's being replaced with Sean Gerber uh, from Superhero News, which I'm a little surprised he was not in the tournament uh, already, so it's kind of fitting that he gets a spot in there now. But um, I have no idea where he will stand uh, in the uh, inner geekdom division we'll find out on friday but until then this is jth saying thank you for watching and until next time i bid you adieu adieu